Hello everyone, Dr. T here with your Tuesday q and I'm going to jump right in. Dr. T, I had unprotected sex two days ago and he pulled out, but it was on my ovulation day, but I was wearing my birth control patch, but I haven't been wearing it for right about two months. So I was wondering if I could still get pregnant. In short, your answer is yes, you can definitely still get pregnant. Um, the way that the birth control patch works is that you wear it and it secretes a hormone into your system through your pores um, that would prohibit you from getting pregnant. But since you weren't wearing it for two months, then it's not effective. Um, so I hope that helps you, uh, especially since you were ovulating, the likelihood of you getting pregnant if everything is in order with your and his reproductive systems is very likely. Next question. Dr. T, I'm 19 years old. Me and my boyfriend had sex recently, and I took the morning pill approximately 16 hours after that. I was on the third day of my period. My cycle length is normally 30 to 33 days. The morning after pill I used was not expired, and I drank both tablets at once. I couldn't differentiate withdrawal bleeding from periods since it was the last few days of my periods after that and the discharge was brown. Should I be worried about unwanted pregnancy even after this? So in short, if you're having unprotected sex, even if you're on the pill, there is always a chance, even if it's a very minute chance, there's always a chance of your getting pregnant. Um, now, if you did take the morning after pill as it is recommended, then that does decrease the chances. The only way you would know for sure is if you tested. And I recommend as always that you purchase two different brands of tests. Make sure you take them in the morning when the hormone, um, the pregnancy hormone, which is HCG is most concentrated in your urine. So take them both in the morning and um, if it comes out to be positive, then you're pregnant. And if it comes out to be negative, then you're likely not. Uh, definitely follow up if you get a preg uh, pregnancy test that comes back positive and get a blood test um, just to see where you are in the pregnancy. Next question, Dr. T, my husband and I had unprotected sex two days leading up to ovulation and he ejaculated on my vagina and then immediately used some of the semen and fingered me. Is it possible I could get pregnant? Absolutely, you could get pregnant. Um, what he did is almost equal to him having ejaculated inside of you. So I would definitely uh, wait for a missed period. Again, get two different types of tests, tests in the morning and um, see what happens. Next question, Dr. T, the last time I had sex with my partner was December the 4th. I had a long eight day heavy period with blood clots starting the 21st. My period was due yesterday and I've had two positive pregnancy tests. Is there any chance the baby is his or can I be secure it's my boyfriend's since I had a period and have only had sex with him since? Okay, so your concern um, seems to be not so much if you're pregnant, because it looks like you um, you are, it's more so on if the baby belongs to your boyfriend, which it could be, it couldn't be. There's really no way of telling until the baby comes and you can get a DNA test. Um, I understand you're saying that you only had sex with him once since. Um, but the timeline is a little bit sketchy because there's some information missing from this scenario. So, uh, if I were you, I would, um, I'd have a talk with my boyfriend. Dr. T, 
I've been experiencing mild breast pain that comes and goes, no lumps. Stretch marks on breasts grew in quantity, feels heavier, looks slightly dented and wrinkled due to stretch marks and lumpy feeling all over. Bruise look rash under breasts, nipple tenderness, no discharge or changes. Lines showing on the underside of breasts, not stretch marks. Breast pain gets worse when leaning or moving around too much. And I have a bump on top of my breast, which was red, now flat and darkish. Also neck and shoulder pain. 21 years old and slightly anemic. Okay. Uh, I do have cause for concern considering the combination of symptoms that you're experiencing. Um, I would want to know if you're experiencing this in both breasts or just one and how long you've been experiencing it. Um, the lumpiness, uh, initially you said there's no lump, but then you said that it's lumpy all over. That is very concerning. Um, we would want to know if the lumps are hard, um, if they're malleable, if they move around, um, if the bruise is purplish or reddish, along with uh, the tenderness, if it's intermittent or if it's persistent and consistent. Um, it is very concerning also that it's debilitating you uh, when you're trying to move around. So my advisement would be um, to definitely get tested. It could possibly be breast cancer. That would be my, um, my first concern. You have a number of symptoms that are following along with breast cancer. Um, I really do apologize. I know this is not the news you want to hear. Uh, you do say that you're slightly anemic, so I'm curious to know how long you've been slightly anemic. People with cancer, regardless of what kind it is, tend to become anemic. Um, so I would want you to get a, a CBC to look at your blood count as well. Also, when you're having your blood tests done, ask them to test for circulating cancer cells. However, we do have some options as well that you might be interested in discussing. So uh, by all means, you can give us a call. We have had significant success with eliminating uh, various types of cancer and other conditions as well. So that wraps up our Q&A for today. And uh, as always, be healthy and don't forget to like and subscribe.